If I get this shot in now, uh, Josh Wales going to win an IBF world title with Dennis Sobson. And it's going to be my first sign that's won a belt. First thing I've put me back into, even when Josh will wear Steffi Ball, I always knew that I'd be able to get him as soon as I saw a chinking arm away with Steffi not doing his job correctly. No disrespect to Steffi, but you lost him, didn't you? If I get this shot in here, Josh Wales going to win a world title. No, it needs a bit of, needs a bit of luck. It needs a bit of luck. Let's see if we can do it now. There you go. There you go. Josh Wales gonna win an IBF world title. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Hashtag levels. Boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Yeah. It's been porky here. You like that one, don't you, mate? <laughs> I'm joined today at Mickey's Athletic in Mexico by Mr. Josh Whale, former British champion and European title challenger when he were ripped off in France. How are you doing, Josh? Hey, that's good, pal. And my first sign in officially with Dennis Hobson. <laughs> how are you doing, Josh? Yeah, good. You're looking good. well. Yeah, big pal. Been uh, training hard, so... Hey, we're not going to go over the, the France thing uh, and what happened there because you were ripped off. Right, you're fighting at February now. Yeah. September 20th. Yeah. Your second fight with us. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, like you say, it's my second fight. Yeah. Second fight at featherweight. Yeah. Um, I've got a good win last time. I don't think caught me with a dream star, really. Yeah. Um, knocked the eye in first round. Um, kid had a good record and got a knockout percentage. I mean, people can yeah, yeah. but he knocked people out, you know. He, Whoever you find, they still take some knocking out. So it were, yeah. good, it were a good result and we um, yeah. were both out. So. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't have come back for in, in a weight division. It couldn't have gone any better, really, could it? No. KO in first fight back of that weight. Yeah. And against the banger as well. Yeah, yeah. Like a zoom and Elsie, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I got it early and I got him early, and yeah. um, I felt strong and comfortable away. So yeah, I think there's some big nights coming February division, Pop. Yeah. Are you happy working with Dennis Hobson? Yeah, de moment? yeah, definitely. Yeah. We know he's a rag and bone man, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I like Dennis. I, yeah. I like for yeah. what he stands for. He, he yeah. tells you something. He, he goes, yeah. he, that's what yeah. you get. Uh, yeah. You know, me and my dad, myself, we're, we're, yeah. all, we're, yeah. all, we're, all, we're all moving forward together. Yeah, that's good. Uh, uh, to be honest, I'll, I've always had a close uh, relationship with Dennis throughout my career. He's always yeah. supported me and always wished me and my dad well when we've seen him. And, uh, I've always, um, you know, I've come close to working with him a few times, but we're over the line now and, you know, we're working together. Yeah, good. That's good. And are you and your dad all right? Anything sound? Yeah, yeah. Are going well? Yeah, me and my dad uh, go on one of the longest relationships going in oh, uh, yeah. Brit British boxing. We uh, went through all amateurs together, all pros together. I've not had one different trainer. My dad's made me who I am, so um, at the end of my career, I only have found one person really yeah. you know, for training me in training aspect because that's my dad he's told me everything I know. Yeah. I was going through your record earlier Josh and I was going through it with a, with a mate of mine who's an hardcore boxing fan and you've got, is it, how many defeats have you got about 10 defeats? Yeah, yeah, well, it's defeats. Uh, half of them really, yeah. you could have got all the way, couldn't they? Maybe they'd have touched more. Yeah, you've I mean... You've had a lot of bad decisions, haven't you? If you look at my... Uh, I'm my, getting at the yeah. miles on the clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you look at my defeats, Bob, they've come, they've come to the highest end. I mean, yeah. through bantam, super bantam weight uh, division. Um, yeah, I've had defeats. I've always come back, Paul. I mean, I've never been put on my ass. I've never been beat by uh, low, lower, lower level, if you yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. opposition. I've only been beat in good company. Yeah, in good company, Paul. I've always, uh, always represented myself well in it. I, I don't think. Um, you know, 
but we had near him. I, I've always uh, shoot for good performance for me. But you know, there were some nights I, uh, there were some fights I shouldn't have took, and for whatever reason. But end of the day, pal, when I've done with my career, I look back and say, look at. I took every fight, me and me, we took every fight possible. We didn't dodge anybody. We, uh, you know, I, I, I'll fight anybody, pal. Absolutely anybody. You know what I mean? And I can't, nobody can quote to my kids when they get older and go, oh, your dad judged so and so. Does. That'll bother you, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah bother You've me. mentioned that to me a few times. No, now, nobody, nobody can ever say to my kids, uh, yeah. I want my kids. Yeah, you might say, oh, I want my kids to grow up and go, God, your, your dad were an old man. He, uh, you know, he had so many title fights and he won British, he, you know, he defended it and, you know, they'll remember them, so. Yeah, you, nobody can take that away from you, that British title, can they? No, you know? no, it doesn't. The world British. ranks as well. Yeah, everybody, Brit, we did British were brilliant and knocking Don Brown out of the M E M. that was a good night. Bobby Jenkinson knocking him out. You know, yeah, yeah, it, 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 we're on a good, we're on a good uh, ride. Obviously, we've got stitched up in France, but you know, it's one of them. Um, if you don't take opportunity, pal, you'll never know what happened. So, we took it and um, I was, I was well, I did win dinner, but yeah, I got you ripped off, so yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. Do you think that sometimes in boxing, Josh, results happen that shouldn't have happened and it has a knock on effect with team around you and things like that? Yeah, it could do, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean. I don't know, I, I've, I've had a few different managers throughout my career. Yeah, I've only had one trainer, like I've just said with my dad, I've had a few different managers. Um, and possibly if you'd have gone with somebody else at a certain time in your career, you, you might have gone down a different road and achieved different things. You, you never know, but at the end of the day, you've got to live by your decisions, pal, so um, mm. you, you do what you do. Yeah. You've had a good career though, and you still play tank. Ta plenty left in the tank at the job. Yeah, I'm immensely proud of my career. I can uh, look back on it, and maybe now we've had some great in the eyes. Um, we fought everybody. Yeah. But, um, you got twenty odd title fights. Twenty odd title fights. Yeah, I mean, if you told me that an eight year old kid, I'd have snatched your head on. So of course you would. You'd snatch your hand off, wouldn't you? But people think. Uh, does Miles on Coco? Because to look at the defeats, don't you? Yeah, it? 40, yeah. 41 fights, so many yeah, defeats. Think, oh, journeyman, but it, yeah. that's not the true story, is no. it? When you delve in. Yeah, I mean, when you've won area, English, British, uh, you know, missed out just on a European title. Missed out on yeah. Coco, I just as well, well, bought, yeah. yeah, I think I bought seven world champions. I mean, I've got a mess of power in career. And, there's still uh, still plenty of good nights left. I know that because when I'm doing it in gyms, I yeah. mean, it, I'm, my last performance showed I'm strong at weight. I uh, I punch hard at featherweight, and I, I'm just I just you know we just enjoy boxing and I just carry on doing it. Now your last fight, because you got him out of there in the first round, you're not going to have miles on clock A from that fight. <laughs> it's just like a, yeah. that's good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you take some of them, won't you? <laughs> What? Yeah, you know, I think Miles. There's, I mean, Miles on Clock, me personally, what I believe is it's lifestyle, that, that's what do you. Yeah, 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 you know, if, if you're at, it's not just drink what they're on, they're, they're getting off their heads or doing whatever they're doing. Uh, if they don't live right outside the ring, I think that has a lasting effect on you more than an hard fight. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't personally think I've had hard fights. Everybody else, oh God, this, this were hard. I don't think it were hard. I think working on a building site is hard, I think boxing is easy. Uh, and I'll, I'll just keep proving people like I've done, like I've done all my career. Yeah. Um, you know, that's how it is. Uh, the rumour is, I'm going to get this next fight out of the way, title fight then after that. Yeah. Are you happy with that, Josh? Yeah, definitely. I'll, uh, it'll be another uh, stage of my career to win, uh, to win belts in three different ways. Um, mm. You know, it would be, uh, be a great achievement and one I'll be proud of. And what I'm definitely capable of, I think, um, you know, me, me, I still think my best performances are still to come. Yeah, I do. What, uh, you're 31, just turned 31, Josh, so what age are you looking at knocking it on head, Josh? Uh, whenever me and my dad sit down and think enough's enough. Um, not many people know, but I've got my professional trainer's license. I've had that a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've only just found that out today. I had a feeling you were doing something. Yeah, yeah. 
So I've done all my badges and that, and uh, obviously I've got a gym full of amateurs here. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to always be in boxing all your life? Yeah, then? I've always been boxing. Uh, my wife, my kids know boxing is my life, mm. and, you know, that, that's what yeah. we do. We come to the gym and all these kids, they like my kids, you know, all my amateurs. Uh, we've yeah. got a few pros as well. Dempsey's coming through, my younger brother, he, he's promising as a professional, so I'll, I'll be there for him. Uh, and, you know, it's me and my dad's life boxing, you know, that, that, yeah. that's what we do. You've had a, the la up to you getting beat in France, I'd say you were on a fantastic, fantastic run, weren't you? Yeah. You've been matched correctly, you were hitting your targets in the gym. Yeah. Do you think that being robbed in France had a knock on effect with you coming back and fighting in England? Yeah, definitely. I, yeah. Uh, France were a big mental thing that took on me, I mean... Uh, Did you fly over there, Josh, or were it both? Yeah, fly, fly yeah, up. fly up, well, fall up to Switzerland. They just had us over from... From, from, from landing off yeah, the plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> told you sort of stuff there, but... That, 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 that. The yard had it a weekend, then they were trying with <laughs> yeah. them, didn't they, the luggage? Yeah, that, that's what they do. Did you mate. get your luggage, though, Josh? Yeah, Did you lose any trainers? Yeah, I, I was. You keep leaving trainers everywhere, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, lost a few, but I was a bit smart, I was a bit smart because I knew what they were going to do with bags, so I took bag, I took, took what I needed on playing with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Not, they always lose your bag, that's what they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I found that out when I was 15 years old, I travelled to Germany, boxing for England, uh, Luke Campbell were on that team, and they, yeah. they lost all those bags. Uh, yeah. And it turned up, uh, I think it turned up two days after we, we got there, we'd, we'd already boxed everywhere, boxing with your trainers and that. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of stuff that the, the play. But we're, we're too honest in this country, we, uh, we'd have a foreigner beat our kid. We we put everything, but over there when you when you're fighting them, they put everything in their favour. Everything. Yeah. Uh, over here we're, uh, we're we're sportsmen. That's what Barry should be, but they don't see it like that. So you've had a well-schooled career in that, and you fought yeah. for England and that. Who else were in uh, England team when you were when you were flying eyes a kid, Josh? 15. Y yeah, yeah. The Luke Campbell, Luke Campbell, Campbell George Groves. That's George Groves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What that, that's how they formed the uh, good so, mate. Yeah, yeah. The, the friends are Anthony Go Go. Oh, is he your age group? Yeah, 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 right? Eighty-eight kids. Yeah, there's not quite a few uh, good names. Um, is he boxing now though? Is that I, I think he's got problems with his eyes on here. No, there are quite a few good kids and uh, yeah, I mean, I've won national titles from a kid. Uh, boxed for England at 12 and went all the way through, so I'm not a off. Yeah. And, yeah I can, and I can pass this on to, uh, to, our, to our kids. So, that, yeah, you're going to pass it on to your kids, that's brilliant. But well, getting back to your fighting abroad, were you fighting abroad as an amateur? You'll not know until you get there who you're going to fight, will yeah, you? Yeah, no, no. So when I see professionals now and they have a late replacement, these like top amateurs, like for instance Joshua, Adam Smith who kept saying on Sky, oh it's a late replacement, it's Takum, he's coming in for 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 yeah, you, you the pool left yeah, and yeah. Well, how's Joshua going to adjust? But we're talking about a kid here that's Olympic gold. And yeah, you just adjust, you, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought German captain Stefan Nittel, middleweight uh, European champion, yeah. or Russian day after that, if you win it, you know, you just you only just, fight day after. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need a big break. Yeah. You wait every morning, then you fight at, um, in, in afternoon or tea time. So. Yeah, that that experience. So it's not a yeah, but them. it's a good, it's good experience. You don't, you don't really, uh, you that so it moment when you're doing it. You don't really, but looking back at it, it's yeah. a great experience. Like. Yeah, that's brilliant. Now there's no opponent yet announced, and we've got another month. About maybe uh, how long is three it? Week four weeks. Three weeks. Oh right, right, right. Three or four weeks ago now with we, we opponent. Is that? A bo is that bothering you? There's no opponent, or are you alright? No, with that? no. I think uh, my dad's been in contact with Dennis. Yeah. I think there's somebody just going to get off the line soon. So yeah, but, so it's not. A problem, yeah, no. I don't. I mean, I've, I've boxed every different style you can think. Of. Yeah, um, yeah. We just yeah. do his own thing. If I'm uh, if I'm keeping my dad happy with stuff I'm doing in the gym. I'm, I'm not going to just concentrate on what I do really. And what weight are you walking around at now just because you're looking well? You look like you've been doing a bit of weight training and that, have you? Yeah, I'm building into weight part. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think, first off, you know, we're doing bantamweight for so, for so long. 
uh, people didn't think I'd be big enough and stuff like that. So maybe Dad adapted some things in training, um, and I'm feeling fit and strong. Um, and, and your performances tell, pal. I, I always say that you can, you know, in the last performance for a good performance, this performance, same again. Then with here or there, about me for a title, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. It'll be uh, two wins, two knockouts, all being well yeah. then moving on to bigger and better things yeah. it's all it's all good it's uh and what do you walk around that way to long so yeah. now it's 126 and it's yeah, yeah 126 yeah. i would walk around about 9798 so you've got like yeah. eight pounds to yeah. knock off yeah what were you walking around at before the same way yeah same way for bantam way but you were having to take a double that amount of yeah one, uh, i think uh, when, when you i think you, there's certain things as you get older you've got to adapt i think um I think weight making is, um, is as you get older, your metabolism slows down, and I think way I fight, I'm a, I'm a strong, come forward fighter. I mean, there's no, there's no getting away from that. I'm not going to yeah. turn into Pinal Whitaker over knee. I mean, yeah, yeah. you are what you are, as they say. So I think uh, that would jeopardise me. Mm. Uh, taking that last two or three pound off, uh, thing, and I just feel stronger this way. Because your your style, Josh. Uh, obviously, I'm I'm not, I'm not a professional boxer, but looking at it, it's a bit like Ricky Hatton. So you're like a pressure fighter, aren't you? Yeah. you just go forward, don't you? Yeah, no matter yeah. what, yeah, yeah. you're going forward all the time. You're not yeah. coming back here. Yeah. Uh, some people, like for instance, Lou Campbell this weekend, he'll be fighting on back foot yeah, one yeah, against Lomachenko. Yeah. Yeah. Now, looking at your style, do you think that it's a, a cliche where people say Josh Wales style, he's 31 now, he's a pressure fighter, he's got miles on clock, he can't have long left. Do you agree with that or is it just people who don't know boxing? Uh, yeah, I mean... Because you live a clean life, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but they don't know that, do they? No, no. Right. They really can't have their own opinion, play, don't, right, yeah. don't really bother me. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm Bob is your dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've uh, been knocking on the door. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, is it? No. Nobody will come for Nobody will sell over to about my career. I don't yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, will be in, in boxing. Mm. If they were, you know, you've not swerved anyone, have you? No, Paul, no. Yeah. And if they've uh, if anybody got out to say, they could say it to me face. Yeah. You know, it's. Uh, mm. I'm one of them kids. I'm pretty, pretty straight yeah. with people. Straight shooter, Paul. It's water off a duck's back to you, isn't it? Yeah, basically? yeah. I've experienced it all, Paul. It's, and the day your performances tell you if I keep going, good performances. Like my last one, uh, yeah. like I said, live on telly going out, stopping in the kid, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this weekend's boxing, yeah. who have you got to win that? Lomachenko or Luke Campbell? Yeah, Luke's your mate, innit? Yeah, it? yeah, you've got to go with Lomachenko, I mean. Yeah. Look, 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 like he says. Well, you'll be tuning for Luke, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a Brit. We all, we he's all, your mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. He'll be me. And of, course, of course, you want to see him do it, but you've got, you've got to be a realist as well. I mean, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's brilliant, Lama Chikko. And from what he does, he's, uh, he's one of the best I've seen. Yeah. And I think uh, we're lucky to, to, to see him, like, over here. But, yeah. uh, but I, I think he'll cause a bit more problems than Corolla, but I think. Um, than Corolla, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. I think between. Seven and ten, I think mm. he'll get him out of there. Do you think the the rumours doing the rounds regarding if Luke Campbell loses, <coughs> that he's going to fight Crawley? Do you think them rumours are true? Yeah, I think uh, I think that that that's that, 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 that set up in it. Uh, and whoever wins that will go on, but I think whoever loses, you know, whoever wins that one, yeah. will go and get another chance. Yeah, another it. chance. Yeah, and whoever yeah. loses, that'll be. That's not how it works. Yeah, yeah. 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 But then again, Crawls have the he's had a fantastic career, hasn't he? I mean, uh, I don't yeah. Think, I didn't think it's, it, it did. Uh, They've well. matched him correctly after he got burgled, haven't they? After his neighbour got burgled, yeah, they yeah, seem to have yeah, gone yeah. out and helped him, haven't they? Matched him correctly. Yeah, but well. I mean, he grabbed it with both hands. Yeah, and that's he's an. Nice kid, part. I mean, anybody yeah. who goes out to protect the neighbour getting buried will look. Oh. He's due a bit of good luck, isn't Right, dude, they say keep the nose out. <laughs> you know, and he's uh, uh, yeah. becoming uh, begrudging for that, pal. So, he's right. uh, uh, some good money. I, I think Lamachenko defeat will, uh, you know, that'll probably do him because of the way, way it happened. But, mm. you know, he's, he's one of the best in, in boxing, so. Yeah, well, oh, Lamachenko, yeah. he's top five pound for pound, isn't yeah, easily, yeah, yeah. easily. For, for me, he's number one. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, I don't think I think he's better than Usek. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I just Flip think a coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it. I just think it. Lower, the, the, the weight. He's gone up and down a bit. Weight. Mm. Uh, 
do say, yeah, he's, he's only competing as a, as a cruiserweight, so if you've seen pound for pound, mm. I think he's gone up and down where it's a bit better, you know, so. I, wa I watched a video of an night and it were Macklin and he, Matthew Macklin, he was explaining that we're all, they were all at these championships and he was sat with, I think it were the Smith brothers and some other people and they were all sat watching Lomachenko yeah. on the bag and I think at the time it were probably 300 and all, 300 yeah. wins and yeah, yeah. no yeah, defeat. Yeah. The kid who beat him, he rematched him, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, beat him. Yeah, yeah. Now, they were saying he was going to be special then. Yeah. Now, do you think that he's going to be around for much longer, Lomachenko? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Mm. Um, he's 31 himself, uh, Lomachenko. So yeah. I'd take him for three or four years, definitely. He'll, yeah. be, he'll be at top. Uh, he's not had. Like you say, I had uh, a lot of sticking professionals, but 300 odd amateur fights, and they're all at highest level, so they'll have took a bit out of him as well. Uh, I mean, he was fighting at elite level for years and years. Yeah. You know, double Olympic gold medal. You, you're getting hard fights in them. I mean, you've got Edgar on and stuff like that, but you're still uh, still taking uh, shots. So. Yeah. Right. Uh, before we finish off, in we just want to say. How's your Dempsey doing? Yeah. Yeah. Doing all right. Yeah, he's you doing had one fight. Yeah, he's uh, one fight. One Fighting at yeah. light middle, is he? Light no, he's a light well. welterweight. He's a light welterweight. Ten, ten, ten stone, yeah. He walks around at eleven, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah but about eleven. But he's, he's, a, he's a bit bigger stamp than me. Yeah, um, yeah. He's, he's at his professional debut, he won that, he's going on to his, he's actually fighting day after me, so uh, mm. he, he's training hard, he's done uh, everything my dad's asked him, and he's improving and uh, he's showing showing yeah. improvements. Dempsey only had two, uh, two amateur fights. And, Did he uh, win them? Yeah, yeah, he yeah, won them, so he's undefeated. Um, he's undefeated? He, um, he went to university, got a degree. Yeah. Um, then he's moved into professional boxing, so, you know. Are you happy with how he's coming Because you're his trainer, aren't you? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I help my dad. Uh, my dad's got a final say over us all, and uh, we, we just. <laughs> we just we just do it all the you're all, you're all getting, it's all working out that, because yeah. he's a bright kid, he's been to uni and Yeah, that, yeah, he got a degree. He did all that first, didn't yeah. he? So he's got something to fall back he's on. Got on, got on yeah. me, I mean, me, it's no secret, me and my dad, were, we didn't want him to uh, to box. box yeah. We know how much of an ass boy is, but... Outside it ring as well as in. Yeah, 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 definitely. And very sure it does what, what we needed to see, and uh, he's improving all the yeah. time, so we'll see how, see how far he goes. Uh, a few people have mentioned this, and I've obviously mentioned it before. What do you think about down the line your Dempsey against Anthony Tomlinson? <laughs> yeah, he's he, the same manager, isn't he? We've oh, right, so it might said, not happen then. Yeah, right? it might happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Dempsey will do uh, different weights as well, aren't they? But they could work know. it out, couldn't they? Catch weight. I don't know, but it, it, it won't happen. It's, I'm just thinking yeah. with it being a local, you know, Sheffield, Barnsley, there aren't many at that weight is around here. Uh, no, there's enough to, to go. I mean, yeah. you, you won't fight somebody from your own manager's stable because, yeah. obviously, you just. Yeah, cause problems yeah, in yeah, team and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, you never know, do you? Yeah, but um, Tim's, he's only. He's only 23 year old, so. I, mean, I watched Anthony about 12 and 0, is he 10 and 0? Yeah, he's yeah. Defeated, isn't he? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure Anthony's Is he like a couple of years above Dempsey? Yeah, I'm not age sure, I'm not sure Anthony's age. I think he's, 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 he'll be 28, 29, so he'll be. He'll, he'll be going on and, and trying to. Really his progression's a bit higher than Dempsey. Yeah, he's got a lot more it? fights. Yeah. Uh, Dempsey will do his, do his own thing, and uh, when me and my dad think he's ready, we'll, we'll, that's when we'll. Are you going to get him to learn out. his craft and before he goes through? Are you going to go traditional route? Yeah, it's traditional route. Oh, that's what mine is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly the same as me, mate. Central. Do you get him on? Since Since get him on, mate. Might as well leave him out there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's what we do. Central yeah. area, English, British, that, that's where you do, pal. So if yeah. you can get any of them belts, Central area, English or British, that's how you do. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you have a chat with him. All right, then. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks very much, yeah. Josh. Yeah. You're a gentleman. No worries, pal. See you again. Go ahead, Dave. You, it's your turn. Save so having to turn the machine off. Yeah. How do you doing, Dempsey? <laughs> Good pal, yourself. All right. Good. Who's this here? Nicking keys. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Dempsey Whale, brother of Josh, and he's 1-0, oh, aren't you Dempsey now? I am, pal. You soon fight? to be 2-0. Oh. Yeah, soon to be 2-0. Oh. When do you fight next, Dempsey? 21st of September, pal. 21st of yeah. September. Oh, that's day after Josh will fight, isn't it? It is, yeah. Been training a long so, time. So, how old are you, Dempsey now? 22. 22. I think about You're 1-0. Oh. You're walking around 11 stone, but you fight at 10. Yeah. So about right, yeah? 23. You're 23, are you? 
thought about it, I'm still gonna go. <laughs> You've got a degree, Ange. It's going too fast. Did you pay him off for a degree? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm a bit twat, today. Yeah. How are you doing anyway? Very good point, it? Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving what it. What are you doing in day dempsey with your time? Because obviously, I know you're a bright kid and that. You're not going to be boxing all day, are you? No, obviously, I, I'm um, a teacher here with Josh. Um, yeah. But obviously, yeah. it's been summer holidays, so I've run a summer school two yeah. days a week. Um, like a youth club. Yeah. Getting, uh, Younger kids attracted to boxing, channeling some for for them, better enjoyment, but mixing everything. But we, we've we've succeeded with it because we've had five or six of them come to gym in here now. Yeah. Um, the thriving and it, it's rewarding. It's good to see that. But yeah. alongside that, I've just I've really smashed my training over summer. Yeah, that's good because you you look like you've lost a bit of weight since last yeah. summer when I used to see you down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So you've, you've lost. Men, a maintained all. it, pal. Yeah. Yeah, you've done weight since, stuff, since I it. boxed. I, I think I had three days off after I boxed and I was straight yeah. back in gym. So you're managed by Steffi. You want to yeah. know you're fighting 21st, and where's that fight at Sheffield? Is it Magna? It, it's a uh, Robert Magna. Robert Magna. Yeah. 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 And yeah. who's topping Bill? Uh, Anthony. Anthony, Tom, Anthony Thomas. He's yeah. fighting for IBO belt, is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. And who's Anthony fighting? Rob Hunt, I think it is. Rob Hunt, that's yeah. a good fight, like, isn't it? Yes, yeah, And you're on undercard. I'm on undercard of that, yeah. So you'll be 2 0 if you win that one, then. Yeah, yeah. Go on, that's it. Win that. Yeah. And Make what are you going to do then? Get out at Christmas? Yeah, looking to get out just before Christmas, stay in shape. Have Christmas, tick over. Yeah, yeah. And then get You won't be able to get away without your dad, obviously. On, on that's it, isn't it? It's yeah. good, it, it does me a favour. Main but thing but is, are you enjoying it because. I'm loving it, Pat. If anything happens and your dad don't think you are, he's gonna pull you out. That's you know it, what, don't you? I can't escape because I live at home as well. We pulled you we're, off, we're didn't we? That's it. So, yeah. But yeah. you'll know that, won't you? But the good thing is, you've got your education, and this is the point I'm trying to make here. All them young lads out there, because I'm a big advocate for advocate for pensions and brain scans, everything, anything to our boxers. This kid here, Dempsey, he's only a young lad. He's got his education first, and he's done boxing while he's been getting it. So if it don't work out, if he ends up meeting Barry McGuigan when he's 8 and 0 and he gets iced and his dad thinks, you know what, he ain't got it since he's been knocked out, he's got an education to fall back on. And I think that's good and I think his dad deserves respect for that, doesn't he? Definitely, yeah. And you know you've got a plan B, don't you? Now, yeah. a lot of people say you shouldn't have a plan B, you should just go flat out on plan A. Yeah, yeah. But what happens when you're there and you've that's got it. no plan B? That's it. So, that's good. It was one route for me. I had, I had a choice of two routes. It would have a good amateur route. Yeah. Have loads of amateurs and and, and do that. Mm. Or, or go to school and and focus on that. And that, that's what I did. But you, the main I, thing. I, I'm, I'm really glad that I did. To be yeah. honest. The main thing is then, Dempsey. You're happy. Yep. You're enjoying it. Yeah. You're getting matched correctly. Yeah. You're going out on shows and that, and it's all it's all going well for it's you. All, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant, pal. I'm loving it. And have you got a girlfriend? I have. You've got a girlfriend. Is she happy with you doing all this? I think so. You think, I think so? so. <laughs> Seems so. Well, well, that, but you've no kids, have you? No. Kids, you have no kids. while you're doing no, this? No. You're not going to be able to get up for your runs. I know. I know. But the main thing is you're happy. So all is good, pal. Yeah. Have you got an opponent? Uh, I have. Yeah. What's uh, he called? Yusuf Alamidi. Yusuf Alamidi. Yusuf. Right. Yeah. Well, I hope you win. Thank you, Pat. And good luck. Thank you very much. So, we've had both the Whale lads on today, Josh and his younger brother Dempsey, so I want you to get behind them. Josh's Twitter handle is jboy outlaw, that's J-B-O-Y outlaw, uh, at jboy outlaw, and Dempsey's Twitter handle is at Dempsey Whale. At Dempsey Whale, that's pretty easy, that? as in Jack Dempsey. And my Twitter handle is at corner porky, because I'm slim. All right? Mickey's uh, twi uh, Twitter is at Mickey's Athletic and Steffi Balls is at Steffi Ball, which is called Andrew Ballcroft. So, alright, Steffi, hashtag levels. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, and I want to give a shout out to Climber Cool, that's air conditioning company from Doncaster who backed my channel. Alright, thank you very much. Went well, that.
uh, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Uh, uh, it's always nice to go to Mick Wales gym. It always makes me feel welcome. And there's something. Uh, what's the word? There's something a bit. Uh, there's something cleansing, isn't there, about going to a. A gym where everybody's pulling in the same direction, I think it's good. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. Yeah, I think it's really good. Home for some tea now. I should get the Cash Alley interview this week sometime, but I'm not used to the interviewing. I prefer to give an opinion, but it's nice. Uh, I might have an interview in uh, in London on Monday. I'm not getting my hopes up and that because you know we're hoping to get Robin Reed on channel next week, but he's got some on. And it's hard, isn't it? People have the lives, don't they? But enjoy going there today. Good people, Mick. Mick Whale and his lads, Josh and Dempsey. Good boxing people. Straight, straight goers, aren't they? You know, the type of people where you could go on holiday. So, can I leave this couple of grand with you? So, I've gone in world and we just say, yeah, leave it with them. And every day when you come back, you don't have to count it, do you? You know, solid. I call that solid. Solid. But. Yeah, so. But other than that, yeah, I'm okay. Woo! Oh, I'm gonna go home now. A couple of Budweiser in the fridge. Soup, I think. A couple of Budweiser, some soup. That should do me for tonight. Tomorrow's another day, isn't it? Tomorrow's another day. I was just uh, thinking there about uh, drug situation. Uh, do you know these people that are failing these drug tests, right? And you know, like they have these Russian weightlifters or whoever they are who are getting done for drugs. They're retesting the samples from Olympics years ago. People from 2012 Olympics, they're retesting them now and catching them. Our boxing doing the same thing because, as far as I'm concerned, I just think it's a mess. There's people that are winning world titles and getting rankings by default. It needs sorting out. I'm not on about the Dillian White situation because. I don't know Dillian White person, so I can't comment on it. All we can comment in on, on is a respected journalist like Thomas Hauser, who, according to Spencer Fearing, is a nut job. Well, you don't get to write books about Muhammad Ali with his permission if you're a nut job, do you? So, uh, we can only go on his story with BoxingScene.com now. As of today, is it five week? Five week? five week or six week later, five or six week later, Thomas Hauser and Boxing Scene have not had any papers served on them to say that they're getting done for libel. So all this, lawyers have got told they've got to give it us. I don't think that's fair. I think once it all came out, what I would have liked to have seen is a bit of clarity on the situation and this B sample, if it is the B sample, they're now they're now spinning a different yarn and nobody knows where they are with it, do they really? Bottom line is this, once you tell a lie, you've got to tell another. So, everybody's passing book. And I don't agree with that. 
you know, if, if Thomas Hauser is lying, right, if Thomas Hauser's telling lies, he's been misinformed, hasn't he? Now he needs to tell us who that person is. I think Spencer Fearing, who's got who's got a big name in boxing, he's a former pa former fighter, former trainer, former manager, former promoter. He works in media for Sky Sports, and he does a lot of work for MTK that people don't know about. He's a well-connected bloke in boxing, Spencer Fearing. Trust me, I know about that. Now, Spencer Fearing needs to come out, and he needs to come out and tell us. Who, what, who told him that Rivers failed the test? Who was that person that said that? Who? Thomas Hauser needs to come out and tell us who told him. That's what, that's what I'd like to know. Now, I've just come from that gym there and you've got all them kids in there, right? Young lads, people turning pro. You've got young Dempsey Wilde, he's just turned 23, he's 1-0. and oh. He's moving in that right direction. There's, I dare say there's other people that know people from other gyms around here. Just come by Steffi's gym here. He's probably got kids turning pro, or, or, or kids amateur thinking about going pro. Now these kids, they don't just decide that they want to take performance enhancing drugs. It's not, it's not around the amateur game, is it? Or around them when they're turning pro, but is it? Is it around them? Because they're not getting tested, are they? Unless they're in Team GB. Is it going on? Is it a fundamental problem? And are people outside of boxing, the dark, shadowy people? I'm not going to mention any names, but the sort of people that slink into boxing, and then people know who they are, looking for an edge. They get into a fighter's head. Before you know where you are, these kids are taking stuff. They're, they probably never would have took stuff. So, are these people the wrong the wrong people to be hanging around the boxing industry? I don't know. I'd like to see testing every every seven days I'd like to see that I'd like to see the best testing techniques brought forward where you can just take a hair off your arm something like that that's what I'd like to see where they can just take a take a, a hair off your arm or your hair follicle and just it goes back six months in the one that they took for Leo Rio Ferdinand he proved all that didn't he where he went missing when they wanted to test him. He went AWOL, didn't he? But then they got him, didn't they? And by the time they caught up with him, they took an air sample and went back months. So, I don't know, but I want to see something done about it. But will they just keep burying their heads in the sand until somebody gets killed? Is that what's going to happen? Is that what it's going to take? Because what happens to the kids' families who dies? What if somebody goes and takes law into their own hands? What if you're a trainer and your fighter dies? Then what? What about the promoter? What would have happened if Oscar Rivers had died? What then? And Eddie Earn know about it. What what would people think about Eddie? I know what people think about Eddie Earn in the boxing industry, but nobody's going to say a word to Eddie Earn, are they? Let me tell you, Eddie knows that as well. Eddie might be a nice guy. It's easy to like somebody though, isn't it? I mean, I heard a story the other day with Dave Allen were going around saying, my mate Eddie, Eddie's a great guy, Eddie's this, Eddie's that. Eddie Hearn is the most fantastic man in the world when he's handing you checks for £200,000 to fight David Price. But what happens when them checks stop? What then? What happens when the checks stop? Just my opinion, isn't it? It's easy to like people when they're giving you when they stop giving you, that's when you find out. Eddie Earn's a businessman, isn't he? We know what Eddie Earn is, don't we? He's about the pound notes. It's bred in him, isn't it? His dad's an accountant. All his life, all he's been surrounded by is money. So that we can't really blame Eddie Earn for that because that's what his job is. His job is to generate money. If he can play within the rules regarding that, I think that's brilliant. But when they can give Stephen Lee a 12-year ban for hardly having any for hardly having any proof with the snooker, but yet they can give John John Higgins just a 70 grand fine for the same thing. I know that will match fiction and that, but we need to have some consistency, don't we? That's what we need. Uh, I'm trying to think which is the best way to go now. 
can't go this way here. No, I won't go straight on. What oh, roads are shut off? So, that's how I look at it. So, it is what it is, isn't it? So, but I want to see some. some I want to see some consistency in boxing with this drug testing. But like I've just said there, I think that sooner or later it's going to take something like this Dillian White Oscar Rivers thing for people to wake up. But I don't think it'll be something like that fight because nobody got hurt, did they? Now, if Dillian White's B sample comes back positive, I dare say that Oscar Rivers might start having some imaginary headaches like Dave Allen. So, I mean, what sort of people are running the sport? For example, I mean, I've had somebody text me tonight, I'm not going to say who, he wants to speak about things that are going on behind the scenes in boxing, and I don't know that much, but I'd like to know how the Boxing Board of Control can give David Allen a license when David Allen says, I've been in bad health 18 months, I'm now having to wear glasses, I've got vision problems. Dave Allen gets a date, October 19th in Newcastle, all of a sudden, Dave Allen's vision's 2020. His words, not mine. 2020 vision, there's nothing wrong with him. And uh, uh, his phone were hacked, wasn't it? It's amazing how a few quick changes people's perceptions, isn't it? I want to know what it's going to take. Forget Dave Allen, he's just going to waste his talents anyway. Dave Allen is going to be with Sky until he loses, until he's lost another five times. For the simple reason, he's, he does good numbers on IFL. That's it. He's got the captive audience, so he'll be another Chisora. They'll just keep recycling him and reinventing him. And there's no wrong with that. But what about all punishment he's taking? Does anybody care about Dave Allen? Because we know what this game does, don't we, to people? So. I just think it has to be shared out evenly. Uh, what about the people that Dave Allen's lost against who failed drug tests, Tony Yoko? Would he juice start in his mind when he fought Dave? Were there any drug tests? No, there wouldn't be at that level, would there? So Dave's fought Tony Yoko and Luis Ortiz. They're still fighting now. They are drug cheats. So why don't we wipe them off Dave's record? He's got three losses and not five. I mean, how many other drug cheats has he got? David Price has lost to drug cheats. And everybody who's beat him has been a drug cheat, aren't they? David Price. Don't quote me on that, but I think everybody that's beat David Price has been a drug cheat. So I don't agree with that. I think there's something needs to be done about it. That's what I think. I think something needs to be done. I don't think anything will be done. Uh, I'd like to see a lot of changes in boxing. Oops. I'd like to see a lot of changes. Uh, can't stop it wheel spinning it. Where? Try and change gear quick with these paddles. Where? Whatever happened to just normal gearboxes? They have to add stuff, don't they, to them? Unbelievable. Uh, but I'd like to see some changes. I'd like to see... I'd like to see... Uh, pensions for boxers. I'd like to see every gym, everybody who's got a gym, be given something so they can scan people after every sparring session. I'd like to see all that. I'd like to see centres in the country. Now I've mentioned this tip border control, when I see them at shows I always pull them. They go, oh god, Porky's here, Porky's here, you talk to him. No, you talk to him. I would just bounce over and tell them. I'd like to see uh, equipment in certain parts of the country. North, East, South and West and in Midlands. Five places in the country where people who've got a laminate, a border control, whether the manager, trainer or whatever, can just walk in or can ring up and book an appointment. So then they can book their appointments for the for the sparring. Say for instance, Josh Wales just sparred Charlie Edwards, the WBC world champion. Very, very sharp kid. Josh has just sparred him 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday for two weeks, 12, one, two, three, six sessions he's just sparred in. Now I'd like to see Josh Whale have a brain scan and Charlie Edwards have a brain scan after, the, after his sparring's complete. Or every single fighter have a brain test every month, isn't that good? I mean a lot of people keep coming out with these things don't they, that oh, I need to do this for boxing because I need to set up foundations and this and that. We all know it's a load of old crap, it's just their way of saying they're in it for money. People don't want to set up foundations in boxing, it's a load of rubbish. Don't talk shit to me, don't talk shit. Just say you're in boxing for money, it's called prize fighting. No, but that's what I want to see, I want to see centres set up. It's not rocket science, is it? I want to see pensions for fighters. I want to see dope testing every week from turning pro. I don't just want to see it from, from championship level. I don't just want to see dope testing from, from commonwealth level upwards. I want to see it from turning pro every single fight. I want, every, I want the border control to have their own testing unit. I want to see people tested every seven days. What's wrong with that? It's going to take a death in it. That's what it's going to take. It's going to be some poor kid who's five wins, 20 losses, journeyman, getting bounced about ring by like somebody who looks like Hulk. That's what's going to happen. Then we're going to have a death on our hands. And then we're going to have the big cover up then. And everybody scrambling for cover. That's what we're going to have. But if you say anything, you're a hater, you're a bitter, you're jealous, you're a green-eyed monster. Everybody wants pats on back, don't they? No. No. That's my opinion, I'm entitled to it. Um. So, that's that. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Alright. Yeah.